This is Good Morning Mumbai with Rishi K. Friday edition of Talking Finance with my finance expert Saurabh Mittal. Here he is back in studio. What's up, Saurabh? Awesome, Rishi. The NRI series, this is the final one in that. For those of you who haven't been able to tune in the last few days, he talked about how NRIs can remit up to $1 million from sale of property in India. Also, uh, how TDS needs to be deducted on rental income for NRIs, a tax implication on transfer of investments to NRIs' spouses back here in India, and of course, various types of income and their tax incidents in the hands of NRIs. And let's sign off with inheritance tax and yeah. uh, is there really a tax levied on inheritance in India even for NRIs? Right. So some of our clients who are in their late 60s have children who are settled abroad. In majority of the cases, our clients children studied there, got a good job, built a career and started a family there too. Now as our clients age, they are concerned about tax implications and the assets will be transmitted to these NRIs who are the next generation. Obviously, that's a concern with a lot of people. What's the impact? So, it should be noted that there is no tax in India on inheritance. However, when the inheritor sells these inherited assets, capital gain tax applies to both residents and non-residents who sell property or assets which are situated in India. To identify the tax rates and method of calculation, it is important to first identify whether these are long-term or short-term capital gains in nature. Different assets have different definition to be identified as a long-term or a short-term asset. So, in case of inheritance, uh, what's the case there? So, specifically in terms of property, in case of inheritance, the cost of previous owner is indexed from the year of original purchase. This is done by multiplying the cost by the cost inflation index of the year of sale, dividing it by the CI, which is the cost inflation index of the year of purchase. In case the property has been bought before 2001, you can use a CI of 2001-2, which is the new base year for the purpose of calculation. In India, long-term capital gains are taxed at the rate of 20%, which is excluding education sets and surcharge. So, what's your recommendation? So, there shouldn't be any concern for inheritance tax in such a case. When they sell the property, the key is to ascertain the cost of purchase. We recommend again here that they sit with their tax consultant or a charter accountant to get the correct figure and bring the overall tax impact down. Super stuff. Thank you so much for your advice. And before you go, yes. what's your quotable quote for the day? So, it's a quote by John Maynard. It says, the avoidance of tax is the only intellectual pursuit that carries any reward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to be an intellectual to try and avoid it. Yeah. Saurabh, thank you. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you on Monday, my friend. Sure, Cheers. thanks.